In today's video, I want to talk about how to update or downgrade Forge UI, and how to switch between versions if you've updated Forge and it no longer works. Forge remains usable, but it won't receive official updates. In the upcoming tutorials, I'll switch to Comfy UI, so this video might be the last one focusing on Forge. You can see in this announcement on Reddit that Forge will be transitioned into an experimental repository. Any updates you make might break most of the extensions you're using, they recommend reverting to the upstream web UI for daily use. If they improve automatic 11.11 in the future, I may create tutorials for that as well. In the meantime, I'm focusing on learning comfy UI. Let me demonstrate how we used to update Forge. Usually, you just click on update. And you can see at the top that it has updated Forge from the current version, starting with 29 to the new version, starting with BF. Normally when you run Forge, it shows you the version you're using after the commit hash, starting with BF. So, if you've updated by mistake and Forge isn't working anymore, let me show you what options you have. Navigate to the Web UI folder, then in the address bar type CMD and press Enter. This will open the command window. Here you can type various commands. For example, if I type git log minus one and press Enter, I can check the latest commit. As you can see here, it also shows the author and date, which can be quite useful. If I type git checkout, followed by the version starting with 29, which is the stable version you can use, this will switch Forge to that version. If I check the log again to see which version I have, you can see it has now switched to that one. There is a community maintained branch that it will be updated, which you can try. If that doesn't work, you can switch back to the stable version starting with 29 that we know it works. The developer version is called dev2. So you can use the command git checkout dev2 to switch to that version. If I use the log command, you can see that we are now on a different branch with its own commit version and a different author. Additionally, you can use the git fetch minus minus all command to download the latest changes from all remote repositories without modifying the working directory or local branches. If you use the git branch command, it displays all local branches and indicates the current branch with an asterisk next to it. If you wanna check out the version starting with 29, which is known to work, keep in mind that when you check out a specific commit rather than a branch, git puts you in a detached head state. This means you're not on any branch, but at a specific commit. The message explains that you are now in a detached head state, where you can make experimental changes and commits. However, these changes will not be linked to any branch unless you create a new branch from this state. If you want to keep any new commits made in this state, you should create a new branch using the suggested command. So I'll use that command and give the branch a name like Working Forge which I can always switch to when needed. Now if I check with the log command, I can see that specific commit and using the branch command, you can see that I am now on that branch. You can use the command git switch followed by the name of the branch to switch between created branches. Here is another useful command that displays each commit on a single line, showing the commit hash and the commit message. This is useful for a quick overview. After running this command, you are in pagination mode. Use the spacebar to navigate to the next page or press Q to quit. As I mentioned in other videos, I'm a designer, and I don't fully grasp everything happening here. I simply demonstrate what has worked for me, hoping it might benefit you too. While Forge remains usable, it's worth exploring alternatives like Comfy or Automatic 11.11 to access the latest updates. I'm eagerly awaiting the fix for the voice platform so I can begin my Comfy series. Thank you for watching.